I feel like I'm very bold online. I say a bunch of like weird, insane shit, but there's definitely like ultimately some lines where I'm like, if I get killed for saying this, I'm just not gonna. Right. No, yeah. I heard about that dude trying to kill you. That's crazy. Yeah. And so he's locked up now? Well, he's out now. He oh. was locked up. Really? You don't have a gun? I can either confirm or deny hmm. my ownership of guns. I think we need to arm women. That would, I agree. Yeah, when people are like, oh, we shouldn't have guns, I'm like, uh, women. Have you never guns. been in a, pers- in a situation where you need one? And, and if yeah. not, if not guns, like, you know, pepper spray, knives. knives I, like I am almost never without a they weapon. They backfire. Isn't there a saying, like, there's no winner in a knife fight? Man, I got some, some good videos I could show you at the Where? chicken shops in London. Okay. <laughs> So they, they just like they, they they hit the overhand like you'll see the dudes just going like this just aiming right for the fucking jugular yeah and if they get you right you'll bleed out in like 10 seconds it's crazy i would do you ever like imagine you'd be a warlord in like mongolia if you'd been born there because you kind of strike me as like like high risk taking <laughs> see like procreate a lot but like not not that you're not the father but like i could see you just like having a hero or something for sure, I think I could have got into whatever f***ed up criminal behavior I got introduced to at a young age. Because mm-hmm. I remember somebody suggested to me when I was like 19 or 20, like, yo, like, yeah, I know this dude. And he'll he'll, he'll give you like 10 or 15,000 or whatever to like drive a car to Montreal, like drive over the border with like the car stuffed full of X pills. And I remember my reaction being like, oh, f- yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> like, I'll for sure, ten grand, yeah. I will do that for sure. And when I think about that as a grown man, I'm just like, holy shit! Like, you were just f- born to be a crash dummy if you were just down to do like any dumbass scheme that got put in front of you. So I feel very lucky that I got introduced to shit like BMX bikes and fucking hardcore music and shit at a young age. That was mm-hmm. like, ru- like, gave me some danger and like sense of like thrill. But sometimes I'll be interviewing dudes and they'll just be like, yeah. And then like when I was 15, I met this like older dude and he, he, he did meth and he like gave me a gun and like told me to go rob somebody. And like that just kind of became my thing after that. And I'm like, oh, shit, that's uh, so you're pretty close for sure. Like if somebody had introduced yeah. me to that, I grew up in an area with no gangs. It was like one like Dominican gang, <laughs> but like white dudes don't really not really known for their gang banging. And uh, well, you know the ones that I was around in New Hampshire, at least. Okay. Yeah, I don't think of New Hampshire as something that has gangs. For sure they're out there, but they're not... Okay. Probably not really, like, measuring up to the Crips. I feel like white dudes don't really get into their gangster shit until they, like, hit prison, and then or, or jail even, and then that kind of, like... You, like, you can't actually keep, like, dropping references to things, where I'm like, if I wanted to deeply understand the thing that you just said, I need to unpack quite a lot. Right. Like, I feel like a little bit like I'm on a movie set. I'm that captivating. Uh, you're that like con- alien or something. Well, I just know about a lot Wait, of you're, weird you're shit. You're alien in yeah. some ways, but not alien in others. Like uh, you're like you seem low class to me. <laughs> uh, which <laughs> hell yeah, no. <laughs> to be I'm clear, not, I, I, I can't deny that. To be clear, at all. I am low class. Like okay, uh, like I think there's something where it's like a lot of the folks I hang around these days, it's like, oh, you know, I grew up and then my, my parents paid for my Ivy League education and now I'm a doctor. Right. Right. Uh, and there's a way where you clearly have a lot of life experience that is not common to people of this class. Uh, and so, and I'm like very different from you. I don't even know how gangs work or anything. Hmm. But I also have this sense of alienation from like upper classes in that people will talk very casually about getting an academic grant. And I'm like, what is that? Right. Uh, so there's a way where I feel like simultaneously kind of alien from you, but also like not. I don't know. Wow. I'm a trip, ain't I? That's indeed. crazy. Indeed. It's very unusual. Wow. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. I never, uh, I don't know. The people I grew up around, probably a huge percentage of them thought that they would do at least some college, but there definitely wasn't, definitely wasn't this yeah. idea of like, you're going to and go to like the top notch college. Whereas like yeah. a lot of the parents that I'm around now, 
that's very much the expectation. Is, which is cool. It means you've yeah. like climbed in class, right? Yeah. yeah. Which is weird, but it's like I got there in a scummy way by doing porn and interviewing <laughs> rappers. Yeah, it's very. Yeah, I have a very similar like sense of strangeness. Like sometimes I'm in these groups and I'm like, I'm the only person who got here from doing a very low class thing because normally right. you don't climb ranks by doing a low class thing very well. Right. No, yeah, that doesn't usually happen. And it, it, sometimes it's weird. I, I tried to explain this the other day to one of my co-hosts, this dude, Brick Baby, of the rolling 60s neighborhood crips. He's a nice guy. Don't worry. But I got to hype him up like that, just so you know that he's like a real deal. Okay, but so those words mean nothing to me. Okay. Okay, I know that Crips is a reference to a gang. A gang. So he was a member of this game. He was and is, yeah. In, in the past. Well, okay, sure. And, but he was a successful member of this gang? I would say he had some success. Like, <laughs> like, uh, like a, what percentile? Was he like a mob uh, boss? No, it's not like that. Okay. It's just kind of like <laughs> everybody is this thing. And like, yeah, there's some people that are like revered and have power, okay. but it's it's not like. But he's like mid range. It's not super it's like a mid-range formal. Crap. Well, I, I wouldn't say that he. Yeah, I mean, he's not like out here trying to be. King of the Crips or anything. Okay. <laughs> but okay. 